Hey everyone and welcome back to Ontario Cryptids. I'm back! Okay, I didn't mean for that to sound creepy, but I thought I would surprise you all with another encounter story, albeit a short one. Let's not waste any more time. Today we're going to be headed to New Hampshire to listen to a young child's experience, or at least she was young at the time. If you have an encounter story that you would like to share, then please forward your stories to ontariocryptids at gmail.com. I would be honored to share your story with like-minded people. Go grab yourself a beverage and get cozy in your favorite spot and sit back and relax. All right, so this occurred uh, between 2012 and 2015. We're going to be heading to Rockingham County, New Hampshire, and the nearest town is Londonderry. I want to thank Daily Dose of Rose 23 for allowing me to share her experience. I have experienced paranormal activities ever since I could remember. Because of this, I have never really been afraid of it. Actually, I've always been very interested in it. One of the scariest experiences I have ever had happened over a long period of time. I was around the age of three to seven. Every night around midnight, my grandmother would fly up to my window. That was on the third story. She would continuously knock on my window until I would eventually wake up and go over to her and she would always tell me to go to the woods. Keep in mind my house was surrounded by thick woods all the way around. These woods always gave off a really sickening vibe. Side story, my parents would always send me outside to play in the backyard by myself. I had such a bad feeling about the woods that I would always sneak back inside the house because I didn't feel safe outside alone. One time, my parents locked all the doors to get into the house because I kept sneaking inside after they sent me out. I stood in between the door and the frame of the door, crying and begging them to let me in. I was an adventurous kid, and I would do anything to explore, and I wasn't afraid of being alone outside at anybody else's house. Anyways, she, my grandmother, would often put some kind of odd explanation behind it, like, I'm going to take you shopping if you get into my car. Follow me to the woods. Somehow I knew it wasn't her. She just didn't give off the same energy as she normally did. However, I would still wake my parents up and ask them if I could go into the woods with my grandmother. I know it wasn't a reoccurring dream because it would happen not only to my little sister, but my mother as well. It got to the point where my parents had to board up my window, so I wouldn't eventually jump out of the window and die. My grandmother wasn't the only thing that this creature would take the form of. Around the time that my parents boarded up my window, there was a little girl with beautiful blue eyes and wavy blonde hair. She would always skip into my room with her pink Victorian dress and white tights that appeared to glow. She would also tell me to go into the woods. Once again, having a weird explanation behind it. The one I remember the clearest was, My Nana has some toys for you to play with, but will only give them to you if you go into the woods. These experiences stopped as soon as I moved out of that house. Recently, I heard about a creature known as a skinwalker. It sounds very similar to this, however, I'm pretty sure a skinwalker can only change into animals. So, it's still unclear. I still wonder what would have happened to me if I had gone out into the woods. 
I would like to thank Daily Dose of Rose 23 again for allowing me to share her experience on this channel. I truly appreciate it. Rose, uh, all I can see is you are one brave young lady and uh, I see that you have a few more of these uh, experiences so hopefully we'll get to share them on this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this short story. I uh, thought I would surprise you guys. Please leave a comment below if you would like to see these short formatted stories, uh, maybe once throughout the week if possible. If you do, give me two thumbs up. <laughs> Just kidding. Give me a thumbs up and obviously leave a comment below uh, to let me know your thoughts on that. If any of you guys out there have a story that you want to share, then please forward your stories to ontariocryptids at gmail.com. I would be honored to share your story on this channel. Thank you all for listening until the end. I truly appreciate it. Please hit the like button on your way out and smash that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Have a great week and I hope to see you all this upcoming weekend right here on Ontario Cryptids.